Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So today I'm going to show you how to install the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX470 OC, the 4 gig edition. Now mind you, between the 4 gig and the 8 gig, the installation is going to pretty much be the same. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to update your current video card. In my case, it's the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX460 OC card. It's a 460. It's a good card, but this guy's going to be able to handle that much more. So I'm going to show you how to upgrade from this card to this card. The video is also going to be pretty much the same on how to upgrade if you don't have any video card, if you're upgrading from onboard video. It kind of hurts me to say that, but you know, uh, if you're upgrading from your, your onboard video from your CPU, or even if they have a video card on the motherboard, some do. Um, gonna pretty much show you all of that and uh, well anyway come over here real quick and I'll show you how to do it alright guys so again I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 470 OC card this is the 4 gig model but you know the 8 gig model will be just the same so first off in this particular instance we have a Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 460 card I'm going to show you guys how to remove that card so that you can place the 470 in its place. So before you can remove the card, there's two things we need to do. First off, on the back of the case, mostly it's going to be inside right over here. But on the back of this, the Anadis AI Crystal case, we have to remove these screws here. These are actually holding the card in place. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew the top two. Now these screws just hold the card in place, all the cards, and then set. And these took an extra step. They have this little lever here that you can lift or or raise, uh, raise or lower, keeping all the cards in place, holding the actual lip of the card. All right, so that's one piece. Now the second piece, most motherboards have, very few don't. So back here. There's a little guy here that hold, et, holds the card in place. A little uh, little button you click. Uh, I'm going to actually zoom in and show you that real quick. All right, so this guy right here, you would just whoops, press it down, and that's going to release the card. All right, so now since we do have that card already unscrewed. I'm going to zoom out a little tiny bit so you can see it in action. I'm going to go ahead and push this down and pull the card out and that's it. And now I'm going to push it back in so you can see that when I push it back in it's going to do something click. It's going to click in place holding the card in place. So I'm just going to show you here. Watch real carefully as I push it in. All right, it was really quick, but it went All right, so again, I'm gonna take this card out. And then actually, since I've already showed you how to do that. All right, just gonna zoom out a little bit. We're also going to disconnect the six pin SATA PCIe cable. So we're just going to push that down and pull it out, all right. So now one less thing we need to worry about and now again we just hold this in, push this down, pull the card out and that's it. Simple as that, the card comes out. Now you can store the card away, maybe upgrade your, your son or daughter's PC, your wife or husband's PC or your boyfriend or girlfriend's PC, your grandma, your grandpa, your mom, your dad, anybody's PC or well you could just sell it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this card down. All right, and now here we have, again, the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 470 OC card. Now, the last card I took out had a six pin back here, six pin PCIe. This guy has an eight. All right, so that's one of the main differences, at least physically. 
Now, then there's also the back plate, but aside, and it's a little bit longer. It also, the RX470 also does have a few more outputs, but you know, it is a relatively inexpensive card. And actually the 470 OC, it's not too bad either. But anyway, so now we're going to kind of repeat the process in reverse, though we don't have to push down that little lever there. So to install the card, you're going to want to make sure that you have this DVI connection slide in just right back here because this is where all your monitors and everything are going to go connected on the back of the PC. So that'll help you a little guideline on how to install it. All right. And once you have everything lined up, all right, you're just going to push the card in and that's it. So now you've just installed the video card. So for those of you that maybe didn't have the confidence before, hopefully this helps you a little bit. And now we're going to go ahead and plug in the eight pin PCIe. So I'm just going to undo this little clip just for better cable management. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and install this guy onto the card itself. You can see right here. All right. So now to zoom out. All right, so in less than 10 minutes, you've just installed a new video card and well now we have to screw this back in so that the card doesn't fall out all right so now we're going to go ahead and screw it down here and last but not least all right so you may want to tidy up this cabling a little tiny bit. I know I will. So I'll just show you real quick what I do. Everybody has their own methods. This is not really my final method, but just to give you an idea, maybe how to make it look nicer. All right, so again, there are much nicer ways. I'm just doing it real quick to show you guys. But again, this video is to show you how to install the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 470 OC card into your PC. This alone is going to help you save at least $80 taking it to a, a retail store or to some shop to install it and them telling you, oh, this is gonna be so difficult, it's not. Hopefully I showed you how to do that. And well, of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. As always, please click like and subscribe below. And any additional comments or anything I have, I'm also going to write in the description below. All right, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.